There's a lot of liability on this stuff, so this is for entertainment purposes only. This is showing you guys what I'm going through, and if it does help you on any information based purpose, then it's on you if one of these flies off and hurts you, because you're dealing with batteries and electricity and moving parts. Very dangerous. But anyways, yes. Any of this stuff uh, helps anybody, that is pretty cool. And then maybe there is a way to make that little inverter thing work. It's only pushing 3 amps right now, so I guess this thing's wanting 5 right there, so we'll see how that goes. Also, maybe hook all sensors back up. I don't know, guys. There might be a will, there might be a way on this. But as if I'm able to help you in any way, shape, or form, that's good. All right, we're gonna call this an intro to testing because the other video was just way too long. They're running commercials and stuff. But anyways, um, I think my alternator might be bad just so you guys know while you're watching that video. I need to change the settings on this thing to that kind of stuff. I'm gonna play around with those. It might be a different outcome. What I learned was my little inverters over here are at three amp and the controllers wanting five but on the other video at least you get to see this thing running and it's, it is pushing the alternator under a load so that is pretty cool get it up in there and you'll see stuff like this but in short, yeah, I don't know what that's all about. You guys can explain that later. I do want to hook this up to like a three wire thing, too. So, installed out, could be a dead battery. One bar, well, you just saw the battery die. I'll go get you home now. Get you home in limp mode. Oh, battery's dead. All right, well, conducts that test. Anyways, um, yes, if you uh, understand the verters at three volts, controller wants five, I've probably got a bad alternator. I need to change the settings too to see what that's like, and I might hook this thing up to a generator and see what happens there too. All right, guys, uh, the other video you'll see stall, heat load, and me hooking up this alternator. All right, hope you enjoy obviously i don't know what i'm doing i am kind of just winging this and uh i'm not even really thinking it through i'm just showing you guys what i'm finding as i'm finding it i hope that makes sense and i hope you guys can make something out of it for what it's worth there might be some different settings on there who knows i'm gonna make this thing work better all right guys hope it helps good luck Adios. Danger, Will Robinson. Danger. That's all I got, Captain. Seems to be its happiest right there. I'll try something. <laughs> All right, let's see what happened. Yep, inverter. Boom. 
my battery. So where I seem to be at with this after doing some testing. My inverter is much too small. Because I believe this thing right here is asking for um, 5 amps. So that's where I'm at with it. You can watch the other videos that'll help you watch me hook all this up and figure that out. Again, this thing, I think these, I would probably want to rewrap each one of these coils with some 8 ohm or 8 millimeter wire. Probably 12 times. Start here and then wrap it all the way up and then wrap it all the way back down and exit the other side. And then just hook it up the same way these are all hooked up. I think that because of the ohms test, when you do the ohms test, I've read and watched people actually get their ohms test down. And if your ohms test is down, then I think in my theory, I think it'll take less power to flow, if that makes any sense. It's kind of like power is like water, so it'll go to the least resistance. So if you give it less resistance, these are the aluminum factory wires. They look like they're copper, but they're not. They're coated in like an aluminum weird color. I saw them make it, actually. Anyways, that will actually um, help the power flow. And then that little 3 amp controller might work. But they actually have these. Now I've seen them where you hook two batteries up to them. So, and you get a full 15 amps out. So that might do something. I might hook this right up to the power bar over here and see if I blow it up too. I'll film that though. <laughs> all right guys good luck and i'm gonna try rewiring the alternator and all the other stuff i told you about this is the short version you can watch the other video it'll show me going through the house i'll learn and all that all right good luck guys with your project bye here just because this is interesting it's 129 volts roughly if that thing's pushing out and it's using about seven or so volts per leg over here are these ones I think my tester's stupid too. I'm not getting amps on my tester, so I gotta get it to a seven or eight. seven or eight on that side. Oh, hope that helps. Ooh, that twenty volts. Oh. Twenty volts. What happened? The inverter died. Oh, the battery died. Damn it. One of these days, I promise, I'm going to charge a battery up just for this. I won't take it out of drills or whatever. Okay, I just had a bit of an epiphany. I think if I actually unwrap these wires that are all tied together and I force the power to go all the way around and then deadhead it, my hall sensors might work. Just a thought. All right, guys. Well, this video is short and sweet and simple to the point. The second testing video will have more results. The next video will be more just the problems associated with it, things I'm finding with all this. Hope it helps. All right.